Proposal 11, basic controls for comic book preview. You can see we've got a character here on the stage and it's being driven by a simple bright light, which is the standard light which ships with Poser. And that gives us four arrayed lights. Let's just take a look at one of those and down to the properties. Preview shadow map size, 512. That should really be up at 2048 if you're going to have good quality shadows on the character. Okay, let's look at what happens when we put a toon light, a cartoon light, onto the character. It becomes very flat, very toony, and that's all being driven by one simple light which is pointing straight at the character and it's giving us this nice, flat, toony look. It's a low intensity IBL standard light. Okay, let's go down to pop up the comic book preview options and turn on the inks. There we go, beautiful inking on the edges. And we've got a simple dial which allows us to uh, control the intensity of that. We can also turn it to straight black and white. We've got another dial down below which gives us a very easy way of controlling the intensity of the inking. And that's down there and it's that simple grey ball and that pops up the comic book preview and does the magic. You might be thinking that's a little bit grainy. Okay we just anti-aliased it and it's now really nice and smooth and very slick and professional looking. Now does that work in colour you might be asking? Okay let's turn it into colour with the inking on and we're going to anti-alias it again and there we go it's nice and smooth very professional uh very slick uh, we haven't got the shadows on yet but it's looking pretty good okay that's all being driven by one very simple ibl light pointing straight at the character low intensity and it's doing the magic and it's all coming from down there that little ball there which pops up the comic book preview options, two simple dials to control the whole effect. That gives us the inks, the colour flats, and we can also use a standard firefly to give us shadows and highlights. Now we take those into Photoshop as layers, and then we can do all sorts of magic with them, and that's how you do comics in Poso 11. Uh, there's a lot more you can do obviously you can filter the color flats and you can edit the inks because there are no own layer uh, 